بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعزائي طلاب الصف الحادي عشر الثانوي بمدرسة التميز النموذجية أهلا وسهلا بكم وما زلنا نواصل دروس الوحدة العاشرة من مادة اللغة الإنجليزية Today إن شاء الله we are going to study unit 10 step 7 Now let's start our lesson with opener what would you do if you see a car accident of course you know that our unit unit 10 is talking about car accidents so what would you do if you see a car accident yes excellent you can help the people if you can yes you can call an ambulance, you can call for the police, you can do many things. What do you know about emergency services in Kuwait? So, the first word with us today is emergency. What accidents require help from emergency services? As you see in these two pictures, these are two examples of emergency services. Yes, ambulance and firemen working and coming immediately. They are two examples of emergency services. Look at this picture. Who is this man? This man is the CEO the CEO is the top manager in a company who has the greatest responsibilities and makes the most important decisions CEO is an abbreviation for chief executive officer chief executive officer the person with the most important position in a company okay excellent the next word there will be a fire drill in our neighborhood this morning so don't panic fire drill a practice of the emergency procedures to be used in case of fire fire drill European people like eating roasted monkfish, which has delicious tasting meat. Monkfish Monkfish, a bottom dwelling anglerfish of European waters. Many people object when they feel disapproval of something the next word is object object as you see in the picture to say something to express one's disapproval of or disagreement with something the mother and her daughter were over the moon when it started to rain as you see in the picture, over the moon means happy and joyful, over the moon. Caution is wedded to safety. Caution is wedded to safety. Yes, with means to link or combine closely. With. Now, let's check our new vocabulary again for this lesson the abbreviation of CEO Chief Executive Officer Chief Executive Officer 
emergency services yes fire drill yes monkfish object yes over the moon wet excellent now open your students book page 82 speaking we are going to try to speak together in a role play game where compares you are going to role play a telephone call to the emergency services choose one of these rules okay a student will take a role and another student will take the other rule rule number a a witness to an accident for example fire car accident an earthquake etc rule number b is an emergency services operator make a note of any important information you may need to give or ask for number C sit back to back with your partner number A describe the accident in detail and request the appropriate emergency service number B make sure you get all the necessary information interrupt if you if needed interrupt if needed exchange rules and repeat steps B and C okay this is the role play game with us today inshallah try to do this interesting game at home at home with your partner choose a friend of yours and play this interesting game now open your students book page 83 we have an interesting listening task describing an accident we are going to listen to a description of an accident and after that we are going to try to describe an accident okay you are going to describe an accident before you describe listen first and discuss listen to someone describing the scene of an accident okay look at these four pictures and decide which of these four pictures are they describing okay now we are going to listen 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 carefully and try to choose the picture they are describing 10.3 page 83 exercise 1 I came out of college and started walking towards the bus station to catch my bus home I was thinking about what I was going to do that evening when I heard a terrible crash it sounded like a traffic accident so I ran as fast as I could in the direction of the noise as I came round the corner this is what I saw there was a van and two cars, one red and one silver, in the middle of the road. The van had crashed into the back of the red car, and the red car had crashed into the back of the silver car. The driver of the red car was very angry. He was shouting at the van driver. The driver of the silver car was standing, looking at the front of his car. Two young men were standing and watching. A police car arrived. okay now after you listened to the description read your answer which of these four pictures are they describing 
Excellent. Picture number D. Picture number D. Very good. Okay. Now, as you listen, if you want to describe an accident or describe any scene, now we are going to learn how to describe a scene by using some sentences in useful language. You can say, for example, as I came round the corner, or this is what I saw. You can say, as I came round the corner, for example, this is what I saw. There was a bus. A pedestrian at the side of the road on the pavement. The driver of the red or blue car or the bus was very angry. Two children or two men were laughing, examining their cars, etc. We can say many sentences like this. Okay. Working bears, you are going to describe one of the other accident scenes in detail. Choose which picture you are going to describe. Don't tell your partner. Make notes about the scene. Don't write full sentences. Okay? Start by saying where were you and what you were doing. Then describe the scene in as much details as possible. The language or expressions in the useful language box below may help you, which we shown, which we have shown. Number C, take turns to describe your scene. When you have finished the description, your partner should guess which of the three remaining pictures you have described. I think it's an interesting game. Okay, take your time and try to follow these instructions. After you finish, read the description of your scene. After you read it, the students should guess which of the three remaining pictures you have described. Okay, now let's turn to writing task. Write a description of about 170 to 200 words say how the accident you just described could have happened and how it could have been prevented as we have shown use this useful language box how to describe a scene read them again and in your notebook try to write your description take your time to write your description after you finish writing read the descriptions to the whole class Our closure today is mention some innovations that can keep us secure in vehicles. Yes, this is an easy question. What can keep us secure in vehicles? Yes, excellent. Seat belts. What else? Yes, excellent. Airbags and crumpled zones. 
crumble zones. Excellent, very good. Yes, also the ABS, the ABS. Thank you, my dear students, for your listening. Thank you very much.